Hello, everybody. On the 11th of May, Mars Mangala is moving into the sign of Cancer. He likes to be in this water sign, actually, despite the fact you may think of it as a debilitated state. It's powerful for everyone. And it's on the emotional level with an emotional power surge that people will make tremendous changes in their life under this Mars transit. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to sub below. And if the video is good for you, give it a thumbs up. Let's explore. Let's look at the astrology, everybody. 11th of May 23, as Mars enters Cancer, it's quite an interesting fact to what's happening. The dispositor of this transit, the moon, is in Mars's exaltation sign, looking directly at Mars at the moment the transit begins. Is this good? In one way it is, because Mars and the moon are friends to each other, and Mars gets a power surge of emotion, as I say, through this. He knows what he wants, and he's going to go to get it. Even with a little bit of strong emotion involved, most people are going to try to push ahead during this period. It's a real contrast, actually, because previously Mars was in Gemini, in the sign of his enemy Mercury. Now, Mars is more at ease in this sign. You're going to say, well, he's debilitated, yes, but in this age of Kali, Mars in this Cancer sign, Mongola in, in Cancer, can work for good. The first effects of this Mongola Cancer transit is that everybody becomes emotionally volatile because all of a sudden we're not hiding anything anymore. Our emotions become important to express. Yes, this can lead to some issues as I will discuss, but basically everybody becomes determined to achieve, determined to do things they've been putting off for some time. And there is a good side to this. But Mars has very important aspects during this transit, a fourth aspect to K2 and an eighth aspect, which is by sign as well, to Shani. This is showing that whatever we desire, whatever we start during this time, something K2 has to be given up, something has to be let go of, and we have to be prepared to do that. The Saturn Mars factor is one of frustration, though. So I have to be really careful here. You can achieve, you can move forward, many people, but there will be element of frustration. It will take longer than you thought to get things done. Be really careful about running with authority figures, government, etc. This can be dangerous. Another factor is that Mars is a dispositor of the ongoing Guru Chandal Yoga, very, very strong during May and June, Rahu conjunct Jupiter. I've already spoken about this on my video, Jupiter Transit Aries. Check out the link below to learn more about this because Mars going into Cancer will impact how this affects you. As on that video, I spoke that certain zodiac signs have a great difficulty with this Guru Chandal Yoga during this time. They are Taurus, Gemini, Virgo. Libra, Capricorn, and Aquarius. So moon or ascendant in any of those signs, be cautious. Because in these cases, Mars being dispositor here can create emotional manipulation. So you could be doing it yourself or you could be on the receiving end of it. Either way, if you are any of those ascendant moon signs, just have some caution. Even though there can be good factors for some of those signs, as I will shortly discuss during this transit, emotional manipulation can be a danger. We are reading from your Vedic moon and ascendant sign both to get the most depth information here. Don't forget, this must be sidereal sign, Vedic sign. If you don't know your Vedic moon or ascendant, check the link at the bottom of the video to a website where you can bring up your chart. Let's go. For Aries Ascendant, Aries Moon, your Lord Mars has gone into the fourth house of your chart. He's in an emotional state and so will you. The next six weeks you are super touchy, super emotional and you could even become a little bit of a tyrant in your own home. Of course, most of you won't be like that, but quite a few people seem to be getting on your nerves during this Mars Cancer Transit. Your spouse, girlfriend, boyfriend, whoever, your boss, definitely. Career factors become very conflicting and your friendship network, even work colleagues. Everybody seems to be having a little bit of a confrontation and you're in the middle of it. On the home front, it all goes a little bit crazy, though. So many domestic issues. You may be trying to move, but so much frustration happens because of the Mars Saturn aspect. So take it easy Aries. Don't give yourself high blood pressure during this really, really good transit. It can be good for you because you will move forward towards your desires. Just don't step on too many people's toes. 
for Taurus, Moon and Ascendant. It's a very good transit now that Mars is in the third house of your chart. This is excellent. Mars likes to be here and he's going to do you a lot of good. The only problem is the conversations with many people get deeply emotional. As I've said, there may even be some emotional manipulation. But because Mars is so strong, you come out in the winning streak of any confrontation, work confrontation with your siblings, sometimes with your father, with authority figures. You actually get good agreement where there was disagreement before and even with the boss. Your communication skills are very, very good. Now, students benefit from this. Excellent presentations, etc. And definitely excellent if you have any interview situation, it can be successful. In fact, many Taurians have conversations you've been putting off for so long. Mars is your 12th house lord. So fears, phobias, concerns stopped you speaking to certain people. Now you just want to get it over with and you'll be so glad that you did. You may even contain expenses during this transit. You may even get good health interventions now that help you feel a lot more optimistic about many factors. Gemini, Moon and Ascendant, Mars in the second house of speech. Watch your speech. You could be a little bit aggressive, a little bit touchy, and there could be very difficult moments with your family in particular. You may make impulsive financial decisions now as well. Be cautious. Take advice. Mars aspects a house of advisors. You may take financial speculation, stock market risks, anything, because Mars makes you feel a little bit daring. But you must take advice because, because Mars is not well placed for you in this second house can be many unnecessary confrontations happening with your romantic partner, even business partner, should you have one, even with your father, teachers, mentors. Try to calm down. Don't get involved in these volatile situations. Mars can affect your health as well here, particularly if you are students. Mars aspecting fifth house, ninth house, the eighth house of research. You are just going full on guns now with your learning but basically you may be going over the top a little bit not having enough rest pace yourself carefully if you are a student join this transit cancer moon and ascendant mars is a good planet for you now he's in your sign you'll be full of energy full of enthusiasm and no one can stop you speaking your mind during this period that's for sure you're in the mood to make big changes in your life domestically, business-wise, and even financially. But there will be a bit of frustration because Saturn's seventh house lord is in this six-eight relationship in the eighth house of your chart. But pace yourself, though, because this Saturn Mars will give you what you want in time. Because Saturn is your seventh lord, though, you will have many confrontations with other people who seem to oppose what you would like to do. Be patient during this time. You are still moving forward. You may have many domestic challenges and, and even some relationship challenges now. Spouse, partner, girlfriend, boyfriend seem to be opposing what you would like to do. Be patient. You will probably win them over long term. But it's a time to be compromising even though you don't feel like being that. Moderate your physical activity, though, because Mars here makes you very, very fitness aware. You may be starting a new exercise routine, which could be excellent. But Mars Saturn aspect, take it easy. Don't push yourself too far. Or you could even be accident prone. For Leo, Moon and Ascendant, Mars is so powerful for you. He's your yoga karaka, but he's gone to the 12th house to your Moon or Ascendant. The next six weeks, you should definitely have some caution. Don't be surprised if all of a sudden Leos start to have some fears and phobias and sleepless nights and worries coming into your mind that you can't believe have actually come up. You become suspicious of virtually everybody during this transit. Because Mars is your yoga karaka, expect some secret information comes to you. You even see the moves of your enemies. You see the moves of people who would oppose you in legal affairs, etc. So you get insights here, but taking action, avoid it in the next six weeks on all the major fronts of your life if you can. Without even seeking it, you seem to get into confrontation with your siblings, with your work colleagues, with your spouse, girlfriend, boyfriend. You don't really want these confrontations. They just seem to be happening. Watch your health. You may be a little bit accident prone as well. Mars 12th house, it's a planning preparation time ready for six weeks from now when Mars goes into the first house of your chart. 
Virgo moon and ascendant. When Mars Mongola goes into the 11th house of your chart, you've got a very good six weeks ahead. Make the most of this time. You are purposeful. You know what you want and you've got a good chance to get it. It's good for your income, definitely. Good for job interviews, good for promotion, good for everything where you can actually push yourself forward. You're not a pushy person, but you get noticed during this period. Despite all these favourable factors, Mars aspecting second house, there can be family member problems and some difficulties with your health, which will need immediate attention. Any ongoing quarrels, difficulties, work-wise, even litigation, you come out on top during this period. You will solve many knotty problems in your life, actually, during the next six weeks. Libra, Moon and Ascendant. Mongol is never easy for you. Seventh and second house Lord is in the tenth house now. You're determined to make changes in the workplace or they can be just forced on you by other people. If you have your own business, marketplace is switching around and you're having to make dramatic changes. But you should take advice because Mars is not well placed here for your sign. But Mars aspect to the first house can be quite helpful because in this way, if you put the emphasis on yourself, you can become fitter, healthier and actually do a lot to alleviate some long standing health issues. Mars has eighth aspect onto the actual house of education where Saturn is. You're finding it hard going on the course if you are a student. You're putting in so much work. It's exhausting, but you still don't seem to be getting anywhere. Slow down. Take advice if you can. For Scorpio, Moon and Ascendant, Mongola is your lord. He's in the ninth house of your chart. If you are studying, if you are a student, you're going to be doing it in a very fast way. Maybe you're going to be doing revision, cramming, etc. My goodness, what a lot of energy you're going to put into your education. This can be good, but don't exhaust yourself because Mars aspects 12th house. You may have sleepless nights also and a very restless energy during this time. Now, Mars in this ninth house makes you highly opinionated during the next six weeks and you do not take advice easily from your teachers, mentors. You are not listening and especially some issue with your father may come up. If you are traveling during this time, which you may be some of you, take caution. Don't do things too impulsively quickly. Take everything slowly and particularly watch out in your domestic life. Mars has eight aspect onto Saturn in your fourth house. You want to make domestic changes. You want to shake things up, but you're but you're coming up against endless obstacles and roadblocks. Take it easy. Think it out carefully. You will eventually sort this problem. Sagittarius moon and ascendant, your 12th house Lord Mars has gone into the 8th house. This is a very interesting factor because you are being very secretive now, planning next move, but you're not talking about it openly. This can be helpful or not, depending on your chart. But one thing for sure, be careful with your finances now. Mars is aspecting 11th house of your income and second house of your savings. And he's in the house of joint finances and business. Certainly, financial situation is extremely strained now. Mars represents expenses and he's in the 8th house. Sudden big expenses come. He aspects 11th house of income. This could be good, could be a new source of income coming for some of you. But I would suggest it's not exactly what you would prefer. That's the thing. You have to be patient about financial situation during this period. It's a stressful transit in some ways for Sagittarians. You may even get minor family quarrels, sibling quarrels, etc. But generally speaking, it's good for students, good for study. Why? Mars gives you tremendous insight, tremendous research potential here. The absolute best. So students benefit. And if you are doing occult study, astrology, it's a marvelous transit. Capricorn, Moon and Ascendant, Mars goes into your seventh house. This is quite challenging for you because it's going to put a lot of emphasis on your partner, on your spouse, on your business partner, on anybody who you are dealing with, even close friends. Everybody seems to be quarreling with you, having a bit of a high horse attitude, and you're going to find this a bit difficult. But nonetheless, feelings come out into the open, which were not there before. Be cautious if you are self-employed business person. Mars here is in a weakened Modocastana position. Avoid making precipitous business changes now unless you get really good advice. You may have some workplace confrontations. It's not a good time to confront authority figures when Mars is in this weakened position. 
You're feeling very restless, though, during this time, and you definitely want to make some changes. Mars aspects first house. You can start a new fitness regime slowly, even diet regime. Mars aspects Saturn, of course, your lord. So you will do this slowly, not precipitously, and it could be a long-term beneficial thing. Aquarius, Moon and Ascendant, you're favoured by this transit. Make the most of it. Mars, in your sixth house, you will sort out many problems in your life without doubt. You will get workplace situation sorted completely. You may even have favourable interview and get a good situation during this time. If you have health concerns, they will improve dramatically by swift and even unexpected action. Some of you may even have surgery during this time if that has been an ongoing situation. Mars Aspects 9th house students get very good learning during this time. Excellent command of all of the course. You may have difficulties with your father, but you will sort them out to a better understanding. If you are traveling, there could be some unexpected hitches, problems, but generally it's a very good placement. Mars in the 6th house. Generally, Mars 6th house, you get on top of many naughty problems. Even income can increase. One thing for sure, though, Mars aspecting Saturn, your Lord, first house, take it easy health-wise. Yes, there will be improvements, but don't push it too far. Don't be impatient with your progress. Saturn says, first house, take everything slowly during this time in your life. For Pisces, Moon and Ascendant, Mars in the fifth house puts you in a mind to make changes. But they're creative changes, doing things differently to how you've done them before. But new ideas, new plans during this time must be chewed through thoroughly because Mars aspects Saturn, 12th house. Go through all of the minor details. Do not attempt to make sudden changes during this time. If you're a student, ninth lord in this fifth house, you are studying at a most amazing pace. You are putting every ounce of your energy into your study. Mars aspects eighth house. It's a very good time for researchers and, of course, occult study astrology. You must pace yourself because Mars aspects Saturn 12th house. You could simply exhaust yourself, get enough sleep and do not overdo it. That's the thing if you are a student. It's generally good financially because Mars aspects the 8th house, 4th aspect, good for investments and even getting news about wills, legacies, etc. But Mars aspects 11th house as well. So a new source of income may come for many Pisces during this period. Mars gets very emotional in this sign of cancer, as I've been speaking about on the video, and he's in the house of romance relationships. There can be some uppity moments in these for some Pisces. You may even have quarrels, contentions in your friendship network circles, but generally it's good for you because Mars here allows you to express emotion forcefully and to some effect. That's the thing. Check out the other important transits happening right now. They're on your screen in a playlist. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to sub below. Goodbye for now and God bless everyone.